Welcome to RT. And of course, we start with some breaking news this hour. People in the Urals in Russia have seen burning objects raining down from the sky after a meteorite exploded above the Earth, causing a meteor shower. So eyewitnesses reported several blasts rocking the region and long trails of smoke in the air. And uh, RT's Irina Galushko is here with us in the studio. Irina, very warm welcome now. So what a story, I mean, to brighten up our morning routine it's basically i guess this is the arguably the worst or the most interesting morning you could possibly have basically imagine you're driving uh, to work or you're walking to school or whatever and then all of a sudden there's five or six blasts people are still differing about the accounts of what was happening five or six blasts they're rocking the, the, the earth and um, actually I'm hoping that we could see yeah so here's what you can see basically you're driving down the road and then there's this sparkling thing going through the atmosphere and it just blows Amazing. up and you cannot hear it here you cannot hear the sound but there's really this enormous boom basically this is all happening in the Chilebinsk region which is in the Urals mountains yeah. it's happening right around nine o'clock in the morning so you know the rush hour traffic everybody's on their way somewhere uh, there was glass shattered in various uh, in various buildings actually we know a report that there was a that the glass has shattered in one of the schools and uh, several children have actually been wounded by the uh, by the glass that was uh, falling but you can see the pictures again right there this is really really an amazing sight I mean you don't get to see that kind of uh, the kind of picture very often uh, People were being evacuated from uh, public places. Uh, they were told to stay indoors again, see, day, and then we go straight into night and think about the fact that there's, during this entire time, there was this very loud explosion. Uh, so basically, yes, people were told by the Ministry of Emergencies to stay inside, not to go outside. They were being evacuated from public places like train stations or schools or, or whatever. Um, uh, there were reports of uh, really poor cell, uh, cellular coverage. People said that their cell phones stopped working, which is also another uh, kind of a very disheartening situation. You're, you know, you see something like this happening, you start calling your loved ones, your family, and they're not responding because there's no connection. Uh, um, apparently, this is an asteroid which broke apart into several pieces, five or six pieces, which uh, as they entered the Earth's atmosphere, they basically exploded and there was this boom yeah, that yeah. everybody heard. And apparently, according to the reports that we're getting from the Minister of Emergencies and from the police, they have recovered one of the fragments of the asteroid. They did also say, the authorities also said that uh, so far, uh, according to uh, their estimates, there has been and, uh, they measured the levels of radiation. Obviously, this is one of primary concerns with everything that's coming from space. And they said that the radiation levels are fine. Yeah, because initially so, there were fears that the incident actually could have been a military aircraft or even a missile. Yes, of yeah. course. Immediately, immediately there there have been speculations flying about exactly what was happening. I mean, there's uh, some of the eyewitness accounts are coming from all these uh, grandmothers, the babushkas in the village, mm -hmm. who say that they walk outside, they have no phone, they have no electricity, they see this thing flying through the air by the way what you're seeing right now is actually the school that I was talking about you can see just how much the glasses were the glass was shattered by the uh, by the explosion of the asteroid uh, then of course people started speculating about what was happening like somebody said that this the war has started and these were actually missiles uh, flow, uh, flying overhead others said that they're there so two what fighters. Do, what do the emergency uh, ministry people say now about uh, communication and uh, mobile communications and uh, and uh, uh, radiation levels as well. So well, the radiation levels uh, seem to be all right, but mm -hmm. again, they only recovered one piece. We still have to see what happened to the other four or five. Uh, as far as the cellular coverage, well, there is still there is there's still some some interference. There's still some issues with it. Obviously, I'm imagining people are calling each other like crazy at this point. Everybody's uh, sending and forwarding each other pictures and uh, the video. The video is amazing, though. Uh, apparently, there is there are some reports, there are some speculations that this could actually be a fragment from the asteroid 212. DA14, also known as Absolutely. the asteroid, which is supposed to uh, come closest to uh, to uh, to our planet, and it's supposed to do it. It was supposed to do it on Friday Actually, evening. Yeah, today. Yes. Yeah. 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 But According maybe to. this is sort of a teaser. You know, it's sort of a <laughs> maybe. I don't know if that's exactly what it is. We still have to wait for the scientists and for the authorities to uh, have their say about what exactly is happening. Uh, but this could be. It could be a fragment of that asteroid. Probably. Actually. Yeah. Of course, we're not astronomers, but they say that it's cr close approach will be at 1925 GMT and, and it's about four hours away from Moscow absolutely. time. Absolutely. But they say there will be away. no risk of collision hopefully so 
right. So well, you know, if there was a risk, if that's what it is, then I guess, uh, as usual, oh, we got the, the brunt of it. Oh, <laughs> we have a large territory, so inevitably, things that fall from the sky, they uh, have a tendency to land so in shall we in pack Russia? our bags and go to the moon, then? Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> well, let's just wait a couple of hours and see what happens next. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> OK, thanks for sharing your optimism with us, Irina. And, of course, we'll be talking to you later. Thank you. All right, most space rocks approaching Earth burn up safely in the planet's atmosphere. That's according to our astronomers, of course, and we know that. However, one getting all the way through to the surface isn't as such an uncommon event. So some scientists estimate hundreds of them actually reach the ground every year. However, because of the intense burning in the atmosphere, most end up too small to cause any damage or produce a display like the one above the Urals today. So finding a fragment of freshly fallen meteorite takes a great deal of luck. So considering 97% of space rocks found on Earth have fallen long ago and being injured by a falling, falling meteorite is an even rarer event with only one universally accept, accepted case in modern history. So a four kilogram rock struck through the roof on Alabama home in 1954, interrupting the resident's afternoon nap, hitting her on the arm and leg. A bit of history for you now here. Let's move on now. So the world's economic woes.